Live from Dallas-Fort Worth, this is WFAA News. Welcome back to Midday on this Tuesday. I'm Megan Mitchell with your news of the day, and we start with the controversy over Governor Greg Abbott vowing to pardon a man convicted of killing a Black Lives Matter protester. There's a hearing underway right now. It's set to have a sentencing date for that Army sergeant. John Kionis has the latest. Daniel Perry was convicted of murder last Friday in the fatal shooting of 28-year-old Garrett Foster. This morning, a date for his sentencing will be set and he could face life in prison. But now, all eyes are on Texas Governor Greg Abbott, who has signaled a possible pardoning under state law. Posting on Twitter, I have made that request and instructed the board to expedite its review. I look forward to approving the board's pardon recommendation as soon as it hits my desk. The Texas Board of Pardons and Paroles responding, saying they will be commencing that investigation immediately. The governor's announcement undermines the rule of law here in the state of Texas and I think undermines our public safety. What the governor said is that the people don't matter and their voices don't matter. Someone got shot. In July 2020, the white 12 year military veteran was driving for a ride share company when he pulled up to a street with a crowd protesting the police killing of George Floyd. Police say that's when Foster, also white and an Air Force veteran, approached Perry's car while carrying an AK 47 type rifle, which is legal in Texas. Foster was then shot by Perry multiple times with a handgun Foster legally owned. Someone got shot. With Texas having one of the strongest stand your ground laws for self-defense, attorneys for Perry say he had no choice but to shoot Foster for his own protection. But prosecutors say Perry could have fled the scene instead. At the sentencing hearing, the judge will have the opportunity um, to hear from the family member of the victims in this case, to hear about the impact of this crime on them. Meanwhile, Perry's attorney telling ABC News, many people have reached out to express a desire to speak on Daniel's behalf. The pardon process, however, is outside our control. The Board of Appeals should understand that there's a process and that this premature at this juncture to say, let's consider pardoning somebody when they haven't even yet been sentenced. Foster's family speaking out saying they just want justice for Garrett. It's been two and a half years since my son's death, and we finally got some semblance of justice on Friday. And um, less than 24 hours later, it was just the rug was pulled out from underneath me. And I'm right back here where I was immediately after my son's death. At his sentencing, Daniel Perry could well receive life in prison. But as we said, all that can be negated if the parole board does what Governor Abbott wants them to do and is urging them to do, issue that pardon. It would be highly unusual, but the governor has a lot of power over this process. He appoints every one of those board members and can easily fire them. John Quinones, ABC News, Dallas.